flawless victory. Well, take off that samurai armor and put on your lab coat, cause it's time for some science. In this video, I will try to answer some of the most interesting questions that I've seen from the community. Questions like, does Oni damage apply to everything or just your sword? Do different classes have different amounts of health and damage resistance? How exactly does Ki work? Is the amount of damage you deal only affected by your weapon's key level or is it determined by your total key level? Does Ki also affect how much damage you take? If you've been wondering about any of these, then stick around because there's a lot to unpack. But first, if you haven't already, I'd recommend you check out the first video I did in this myth-busting series, where I take a look at ranged versus headshot damage, melee versus oni damage, and whether or not Masamune's edge works with the assassin. And hey, if you enjoy these videos, maybe think about subscribing to the channel. All right. Let's start with Oni damage and whether or not this affects assassinations and other types of damage like kunai and sticky bombs. As a bonus, I also tested melee damage to see if it affects these damage sources in any way, and spoilers, it doesn't. So I've tested this using the bow, fire damage, assassinations and the sticky bomb. So there's a lot of data to unpack, but I keep it simple. Just like in the previous video, I used the same exact key levels for every item in every test and I'll be using screenshots to compare the enemy's health bars easily. Okay, here's an assassination attempt without any damage bonuses. And now that same critical strike on the same enemy type with plus 9% only damage. Now, it's really hard to see if there's any difference, so here are some screenshots for both health bars. As you can see, Oni damage does make an impact on assassinations, so if you're doing an assassin build, you probably want this and not melee damage, because melee damage does not affect any of these strikes or any other weapon. It will only affect hits done with your ultimate, because that's done occasionally with the katana. Some of the old strikes are done with a dagger, but I've covered that on the previous video. This extends to every damage source, be it the bow, fire damage, or ghost weapons. Actually, to test fire damage, I used the Ronin's ultimate to get the cleanest form of fire available, free of any arrow, explosives, or katana damage contamination. And yes, it still does the additional damage when using the ultimate, so I think it's safe to say that the Oni damage will affect every single damage source in your kit. Further testing would need to be done to see if this affects stuff like explosive barrels or damage done by spawnable dogs and bears, but at that point it's more of a curiosity than a legitimate concern for build optimization. Okay, now let's move on to the next myth. A lot of players think that some classes like the Hunter or the Assassin are weaker than others and either take more damage or have less health even though the health bar is the same length, but just like, you know, in fighting games or something. In order to try this out, I booted up the survival missions and got hit by the big guy with a shield with the exact same attack every single time. The reason I chose the unblockable heavy attack to do this was because it was easier to isolate and having a single attack deal a significant amount of damage made testing a bit simpler. So, here's the samurai getting hit by the attack, and if we compare this to the assassin, we find that it is the same exact amount of damage, and that's the case for the hunter and ronin as well. I tried a variation of this by testing if damage received from oni enemies was any different, because maybe the samurai has some sort of oni specific damage resistance, but that's not the case either. For both the hunter and the samurai, damage received is not only the same, but I also found it quite surprising that the brute's charging attack and the oni's AoE attack deal the same exact amount of damage. The last test that I did for this video is probably the most interesting one. How exactly does key level affect the amount of damage that you deal and the amount of damage that you receive? And is it item specific or is the total key level the only thing that matters? So for this one, I performed a very simple test. I only switched around a level 105 kunai and katana for the same level 80 items, same stance and everything. 
This allows me to test the effect of Ki both on individual items as well as their combined power. No melee damage modifiers or anything like that for either items to just focus on key level. So first, let's take a look at damage dealt. I used the Water Katana's triangle combo to get a repeatable and considerable amount of damage done to the same exact enemy. So here's the base test using level 105 items with an overall key level of 106. Now here is the same combo done with level 80 kunai and katana with an overall key level of 96. And turns out there is a significant difference between these two. With 106 key you're dealing around 15% more damage compared to the 96 key as far as I could measure it which roughly translates to a 1.5% increase per key level. I don't know if that is the case across the entire band or not but you know to be honest that's way more than I expected and it means that between key levels 105 and 110 there's a 7.5 increase in damage dealt 7.5 percent that's quite a difference and it means that you should probably choose a higher level key item over a lesser one even if its modifiers and properties are slightly worse but there's more Will using a level 105 katana produce the same amount of damage regardless of your character's key level? So here's the combo with a level 105 katana and level 80 kunai, with a total level of 101 key for the character. It produces slightly less damage than the level 106 setup. And now switching the kunai and katana levels around, you can see it does the same exact amount of damage. That means damage is absolutely dependent on your absolute key level regardless of how it's composed. It's indifferent to each item's specific level. And lastly, what about the impact of key on damage reduction, huh? What about that? Well, there is also a difference. You do take less damage at a higher key level. I tested this with key levels 106 and 96, just like the damage test, and there's definitely a difference. But interestingly enough, it's not a 15% difference like it was for the damage you deal. This is just slightly less at around 13%. So as key levels go up, you improve both your resistance and damage, but damage seems to scale a bit better. All right, let's wrap things up. Oni damage does affect everything you do. All classes have the same exact health and no one is squishier or tankier and your overall key level determines your power and health or damage resistance, not the key level of specific items. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got a few doubts cleared regarding these specific mechanics from Ghost of Tsushima. If you like this video, give it a like, leave a comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one crop up on your YouTube homepage. Check out the previous video if you haven't already and as always, thank you for watching and I hope I will catch you in the next one.